This is a quick video demonstration of the LEAP production counter and downtime sensor. One of the most powerful sensors in the LEAP product line that leverages its edge computing capabilities to provide high value to manufacturing operations. Tracking production and downtime when it happens and how much can be a really powerful tool to improve efficiencies in manufacturing processes. The LEAP wireless sensor does that by providing both data sets that can be analyzed in real time and watched in real time, but also downloaded and analyzed for opportunities for improvement in production efficiency at a later time. All right, before we do our demonstration, I'd like to talk through how the sensor is connected and how it works. So this is our LEAP production counter and downtime sensor. In this case, we have it connected uh, to two proximity sensor cables uh, that go to two Keyence proximity sensors. Um, the sensors are powered, the uh, Keyence sensors are powered by this uh, uh, wall transformer. And then on the top of the uh, LEAP sensor, we actually have a reset button that allows you to reset the counter. Um, so, the uh, proximity sensors can be set up across a production line just like this. And um, when a box moves by, you can see the key and sensor uh, blinking there and uh, indicating that uh, a production box has gone by. The LEAP wireless sensor transmits over the air to the LEAP gateway. And the LEAP gateway receives the data over the air and then transmits it to a, a personal computer or a PLC or a plant monitoring system to keep track of the count and downtime. So now we'll take a minute and we'll set up and show it in action. All right, we've zoomed in a little bit closer to see what's going on. And now we will uh, do a demonstration of a simulated production environment. So as a box moves by, conveyor, you can see the light on the proximity sensor uh, indicating a box has moved by. And our counter on our event counter and our uh, time interval shows how long it's been since the last uh, product moved by. Now, if we're in a real production mode and uh, boxes are going by at a pretty steady clip, you can see that the counter is incrementing every single time that a box goes by and that the, the last event counter time interval is quite short. But let's say that there is a uh, lag in time where the production line goes down. Um, now, what's happened is it's currently showing that there's five seconds since the last uh, box went by, but that's because there hasn't been a trigger from another box uh, allowing the count to increment. But the system is set up so that every 30 seconds, if something doesn't go down, if a box doesn't go by, then at that point, uh, the counter will increment. And there it just went to uh, 30 seconds. We'll take a little break here and we'll let the counter increment to 60 seconds and then uh, continue the demonstration. Okay, now 60 seconds has elapsed and with no more boxes going by and we'll simulate the restarting of the production line. So now another box goes by. Uh, that automatically triggers a transmit of the LEAP sensor. Now you have your total time since the last box went by, which is 73 seconds. And then let's say the production line continues. And now uh, the time between the boxes is much smaller as the production line continues. And uh, your counter increments every time uh, the, uh, a box goes by and uh, that's wirelessly transmitted from the gateway to the, I'm sorry, from the LEAP sensor to the gateway. That gateway can be several hundred feet away in a plant, and that's what makes it really nice. You don't have to run a uh, wire all the way to your PLC or to your laptop that's monitoring the uh, production, and uh, makes the system very fast and easy to install. Um, a couple other features, the same thing is true as if a box gets stuck in front of the sensors. Uh, it will not count that until it clears and it will continue to increase the, um, 
the uh, event timer uh, between the last production. Um, the other thing I want to show is that in terms of analyzing downtime, this is a really powerful tool. Um, I can simply uh, select my downtime sensor, I go to device readings, download readings, and I'll just download them, well, I'll just download them from today. I cleared it before it, uh, um, before we started the demonstration. Open it with Excel. And there you can see uh, my counter incrementing as production went by. We have timestamps to show um, when each box went by. And then we also have the amount of time from uh, box number 10 to 11, from 11 to 12. And here you can see 12, 12, 12. That's a box that's uh, in front of our sensor that's stuck there right now. So you can see the, the timer continuing to increment. All right, now we've got kind of an extreme close-up just to get a better feel for how the system works. As a box goes by, you can see the uh, proximity sensor detecting it and uh, then incrementing the counter from uh, 24 um, to 25 to 26. And uh, you can see that the time interval changing as each box goes by. Uh, we have a longer time interval here, and then we'll put another one through. Uh, 11 seconds, and then we'll go into fast production mode uh, where uh, it'll be counting uh, with much short intervals between each um, box. The other nice feature about the production counter system is its reset button on the top. Just press the button and the count is reset and you can start for a new shift. The other thing I want to point out about Leap sensors is this is just one of many industrial sensors in the product line. The Leap sensor systems are meant for predictive maintenance, safety, automating auditing functions, and a full line of sensors is available. Temperature, vibration, pressure, all the things you need that can all transmit to the same gateway on your single LEAP sensor system. Don't hesitate to look at our products page and see all of our offerings. And also, feel free to contact us and talk to an expert about your wireless sensing needs. Thanks for watching our video.